Being a full-time artist has its challenges. You're constantly navigating in a world full of so many opportunities and possibilities. That's what I try to remind myself when I'm here at the studio, doing the work that goes unseen. Things like replacing lost packages, fixing damaged artwork, and getting orders packed and out to the post office in time. I'm constantly moving. When I started this journey back in 2012, I had no clue I'd have my own studio to work at. But it's almost as if I knew it would be here if I just continued to enjoy the process. And along the way, there'd be so many times where I wanted to give up, and so many days where I felt lonely and lost. In fact, I had to quit a couple times because of it. I've ended relationships, moved across different states, and unfortunately, let a few fans down. Whether it be a lack of communication on my part, or not being realistic about the project's cost and time, these problems have been some of my struggles. Reality sometimes sucks. I've had to learn a lot along the way, like using my voice and sometimes tune out the one in my head. Because when I first started creating in this toy scene, I was determined to make a name for myself, as if it was a way to be accepted as part of the community. I thought it meant participating in every event and show that came my way. So that's what I did. After years of doing the work and doing shows, it felt like a lot of the time and effort wasn't enough to keep me growing. What could I do about it? I had to take the lead. So I started promoting myself through showing my work and the behind the scenes process. This part of the journey really allowed me to view myself as an artist, something I had a real hard time doing and I got a bit obsessed. I started to share all the things I was looking to learn. It felt exciting and at times scary, but I wanted to highlight the craft and show that it's real art. But in doing so, the one obstacle I had a hard time understanding was what does it mean to be a business? I was so focused on sharing content that I forgot I also still need to produce artwork to sell. It was like I put myself into a box, wanting to create the next design and I found it even harder to focus on existing projects. I really tried to gain some clarity and focus on my health. I started meditating. I even tried making a couple new friends. Anything to get me focused and inspired again. I know I'll face new challenges, have new fears, maybe even a couple more letdowns. If there's anything I've learned about being an artist, it's that each struggle is a lesson. How will you react when they show up? Do you make up an excuse to avoid it? Think of where you can go if you just give yourself the opportunity to grow and do the work. Let's do the work. <laughs>